Picture a home, not just any home, but one that's witnessed the ups and downs of family life for over three decades. This isn't a script for a new TV drama. It's the real-life saga of Amy Roloff from Little People, Big World. Amy's been thrown for a loop, and it's all because of her ex-husband, Matt Roloff. In a candid moment from the show's February 20th season premiere, she reveals her shock and disappointment over Matt, transforming their once-family home into a short-term rental. I never pictured that the house I raised my kids in for the last 30 years would be a short-term rental, she shared in a poignant confessional. The thought alone tugs at the heartstrings, doesn't it? But the plot thickens. Remember May 2022? That's when Matt put a significant chunk of the Roloff farm on the market, sparking a family drama worthy of its own spin-off. Sons Zach and Jeremy felt left in the dust, believing they didn't get a fair crack at buying the family property. The tension escalated, with Zach openly dubbing his father a coward. After the property sale flopped, Matt shifted gears, deciding instead to list the farmhouse as a rental. And that's where Amy's heartache really comes into play. Despite stepping back from the property's fate after selling her shares to Matt in 2019, Amy can't help but feel a pang of sadness. The idea of strangers wandering through the home that holds so many of her memories is, frankly, unsettling. She discusses this with her husband, Chris Merrick, in a revealing conversation that sheds light on her complex feelings towards Matt's decision. Now, let's not overlook the fact that Amy and Chris chose to celebrate their love by getting married on the farm in 2021, adding another layer of sentimentality to the saga. Matt's rationale for selling, which he detailed on Instagram, didn't sit well with Zach and Jeremy, leading to public disputes and hints of a deepening rift within the family. Zach's harsh rebuttal on social media hinted at potential changes in his involvement with Little People, Big World, casting shadows on the future of the show. In a twist, Matt views the rental as a chance to share the farm with a broader audience, envisioning families creating their memories there, albeit temporarily. All of the families that looked at the farm but couldn't get their heads around the long-term commitment of purchasing it are now going to be able to stay here as a short-term rental, he explained, painting a picture of a more inclusive future for the property. So, dear viewers, where do you stand on this intricate web of family dynamics, business decisions, and emotional ties to a beloved home? Is Matt's pivot to a rental strategy a stroke of genius or a step too far? This story is more than just a headline. It's a reflection on change, legacy, and the delicate balance between moving forward and honoring the past. As we close today's chapter, I encourage you to keep the conversation going. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. Your opinions enrich our discussions, so don't hold back in the comment section. I'm Max, your guide through the mesmerizing world of celebrity and TV news, signing off with a promise to return with even more captivating stories. Stay tuned, stay engaged, and most importantly, stay awesome. Catch you on the flip side.